What's up, everybody? Thank you for jumping on to Steelers To Go, your daily to-go cup of Pittsburgh Steelers news and analysis. I'm Noah Strackbine here every single Monday through Friday. Check us out on YouTube.com slash Talk or anywhere you get your podcasts. And today, we're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback competition. Again, I know. But there's news coming out of minicamp or post-minicamp that is confusing people, and it needs to be cleared up. There's a couple of things here. Who's winning it? Is it real? At what point is Kenny Pickett going to be involved? And is it a wasted pick now that the Steelers are just so sold on Mitchell Trubisky? And I think that's where we'll start. Is this a fake competition? Is Mitchell Trubisky already the guy? I think the answer is both yes and no. For one, right now, Mitchell Trubisky is the guy. Matt Canada was super open about that. Mitch is number one. Mason's number two. Kenny's number three. Chris Oladokun is number four. That doesn't mean that's going to remain like that for the rest of the offseason. That's just how it is right now. But you can tell that Mitchell Trubisky has a pretty significant lead in this battle. Truthfully, you can make the argument that it's not a real competition to this point, or at least not one that involves all four guys. And I think that's for a number of reasons. For one, rookie quarterbacks don't win Super Bowls. It just doesn't happen. It takes a lot of veteran experience. It takes a lot of play. And yeah, you gain that play after one year, but that first year is a whole new animal for any NFL quarterback. Kenny's going to experience that animal. And yeah, he'll have an opportunity to prove himself. And if he's the best quarterback on the Pittsburgh Steelers by a long shot, by a wide margin, he'll be the starter, obviously. Mike Tomlin and Matt Canada aren't going to send in Mitchell Trubisky and say, oh, well, Kenny Pickett's our best option, but he's a rookie and we can't play a rookie. That's not on their mindset. Their mindset is, Mitchell Trubisky is a guy that has a winning record, has proven that he could win before, has proven he could take, team, take teams to the playoffs before, and is looking for a new opportunity. The Steelers look at that and say, that's a guy that's already proven himself, that has a ton of talent, even if that talent hasn't worked out in the NFL at all times. There are, have been times where it has, and they've seen that. So they're going to roll with him until proven otherwise. But I think that Mason Rudolph's more involved in this competition than people want to admit, nor than people want to like. Mason's a guy that they've somewhat trusted enough to say he'll have an opportunity once Ben is gone. They never got rid of him. They had chance and chance to probably move on from Mason Rudolph. Now reports are out there that they're looking for a fifth round pick. I don't think they're looking for anything. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers want Mason Rudolph involved in this competition more than Kenny Pickett right now. I think that they look at him as a guy who has experience, who has talent. And even if Steelers fans, or at least some Steelers fans, aren't into Mason Rudolph, the Pittsburgh Steelers see that there's some upside here. Enough upside to give him a shot. I think that's the true quarterback competition right now. Heading into training camp, I believe those two are the only two that have an actual shot at starting for the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. That being said, I'm not giving up on Kenny Pickett. And is Kenny Pickett a wasted pick? I think that's the question that comes with this whole thing. Is Kenny Pickett a wasted pick if the Steelers are dead set on a veteran starting this season? No. Is Kenny Pickett a wasted pick if Mitchell Trubisky shows up to be the next Josh Allen, takes the Steelers to a Super Bowl and becomes the franchise quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers? At that point, I still think it's no. Nobody saw that coming. The Steelers didn't see that coming. And just because they want the veteran to start right now, and even though that's not a dead set thing, but that's a right now, doesn't mean that they don't see Kenny Pickett as the long-term starter of the Pittsburgh Steelers because they do. Kevin Colbert had a goal, and that was to leave the Steelers with their next franchise quarterback. He didn't say that that quarterback had to start in 2022. They want the best option available right now to be their starting quarterback right now. Truthfully, that is. That's Mitchell Trubisky. That doesn't mean that Kenny doesn't have a shot in this competition. 
It doesn't mean that Kenny Pickett doesn't have a shot to be the starter next year or the year after. And it doesn't mean that Kenny Pickett doesn't have a future in the Pittsburgh Steelers or in the NFL. And even if Mitchell Trubisky shows up to be the greatest thing on turf and he's the next Josh Allen or the next Tom Brady or whoever, and nobody saw it coming, you didn't see it coming. And you have to draft as if you're trying to predict the future. Nobody in the Pittsburgh Steelers front office was looking at the future saying Mitchell Trubisky is our next franchise quarterback. Not one person was thinking that. So it's not a wasted pick. The next part of this, is Chris Oladokun involved? And if Mason doesn't win it, is he the one that leaves? As much as Mason's in it, and I just said that Mason and Mitch might be the only two that have a real opportunity to start for the Steelers this season, and I mean that. But I still think that Mitchell Trubisky is the guy. I still think that he has a pretty big leg up in this competition. And if Mason doesn't win it, are they going to get rid of him? That depends. The Steelers aren't going to drop Mason Rudolph and say, go ahead, go to another team. Especially if they believe that he has an opportunity to start this offseason. What they will do is field calls. And when teams start calling during the preseason and closer to the regular season, they'll start answering the phone and they'll start talking. Do I believe a fifth round pick is what they're looking for? Maybe. I think they could get one. I personally believe they could get a fourth round pick for Mason Rudolph. I think that his value is much higher than people see. I think that his value is much higher than fans want to admit or some media want to admit. He has talent, and at worst, he's a quality backup. The Steelers know that, and the Steelers would keep him as a quality backup if they didn't want Kenny Pickett to be their quality backup. Another team's going to need somebody. Another team is going to be looking for a quarterback to come in here just in case. Quarterbacks are going to get hurt, and if Mason's in a quarterback competition right now to start in Pittsburgh and another team's looking for a starting quarterback or at least somebody to compete for a starting quarterback because their starter went down, and that happens every single year, Mason will be worth a good chunk of change. And for Mason, a good chunk of change is a fourth or fifth round pick. That's a quality pickup for the Pittsburgh Steelers especially a Pittsburgh Steelers team that has their next backup quarterback. Easy. At that point, Chris Oladokun is involved. I don't believe that Chris Oladokun has a real shot at the quarterback competition. People want to talk about him. I think Chris is a great guy. I think that he does have some talent. I would love to see what that talent turns into. But he is pretty raw, and he does have a lot to learn in the NFL. But he's got a ton of confidence, he's got a ton of intangibles, and he's got a ton of athleticism. That's stuff that your third-string quarterback should have. He should be a guy that could come in here and imitate any quarterback you need him to imitate. And in the AFC North, that's a guy who could run, throw, and lead a team pretty well. Could do pretty much everything. Because no matter who you're playing, six times a year, you got to face a guy who could run, throw, and lead a team pretty much better than anybody in the NFL. Chris Oladokun brings all that. They want him around. That's why they drafted him. Nobody drafted Chris Oladokun to be a starter in year one. You've never once has an NFL team drafted a quarterback in the seventh round and said, this guy's going to be our rookie starter. No doubt. He's going, to have a, he's going to have a shot to compete for the starting job. Never, never once, never once. Chris Oldokan could be here and run the opp- have the opportunity to run practice squad all year long. To be that guy who is every other quarterback for the Steelers. That's what they brought him here to do. That's a good opportunity for a guy who's a seventh round pick. That's an opportunity to stay on a roster and show yourself. And then next year or the year after that, when there's another quarterback competition, he's involved. And he's got an actual shot at it. 
Chris Oldokan, I think, is definitely locked in to stay here. He has to be really bad on the field and really, really bad in training camp for him not to make this team. And I don't think he makes the 53-man roster, but I do think that he makes the practice squad. I do think that he's a guy that sticks around for the entire season. That's somebody that the Steelers want to stick around for the entire season. That comes because I believe Mason's on his way out if he does lose this battle. So just a quick recap. Kenny Pickett, not involved yet. Probably will be to some degree during training camp. I wouldn't chalk it up as a bust. I wouldn't chalk it up as over. I wouldn't chalk him up as out of the battle. I would just say that he's definitely a strong third stringer right now. And until the preseason, will likely stay that way. Unless Mitchell Trubisky shows that he's got nothing come training camp. That once you put those pads on and George Pickens isn't as open, you're not making plays, he's probably the guy. The Steelers wanted him to be the guy. This is working out exactly as they wanted to. Mason's the number two. But Mason needs to win to stay on the team. Because if he doesn't win, he's going to have enough value that the Steelers are going to say, we're going to trade you. Mitchell Trubisky, like I just said, probably the starter. And Chris Oladokun, I think, is the easiest lock outside of Kenny Pickett to make this team because he fits exactly what the Steelers want in a third guy, a guy who could do everything and imitate anybody you need him to. Most teams have to bring guys in for that. Most teams have to go out and sign some bottom-of-the-barrel nobody off the streets to come in and imitate Lamar Jackson. The Steelers already have that guy on the roster. That's valuable, more valuable than people say. We'll see what happens at training camp. I'm not going to say that any of this is going to get boring. I think it's going to get more exciting than we think. But maybe exciting in different ways. Maybe exciting in time to start ramping up the Mitchell Trubisky hype. Maybe exciting in seeing what this offense actually develops into with Mitch behind center. Exciting as in how close can Mason Rudolph make this competition? I don't know. There's a lot going on. Quarterback competition is not what we expected. It's still fun, though.